Scientists discovered a material stronger than graphene. With a wide range of potential uses in the area of emerging technology, graphene is regarded as one of the most futuristic materials. This material's two-dimensionality plays a major role in its groundbreaking nature. It is a layer of discrete carbon atoms organized in a hexagon, which is physically very similar to a honeycomb. Electricity and heat are well conducted by graphene. It continues to be seen as silicon's replacement in the electronics industry today. To find out which material is stronger than graphene, just continue to our channel, Theory of Science. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is posted. In order to jumpstart the graphene business, the European Union has already contributed 1 billion euros. At the same time, scientists had to focus on flat surfaces formed from other materials because of similarities between their properties and those of graphene. Due to its many uses and qualities, graphene is regarded as a prodigious substance that has the potential to revolutionize the technology industry. The development of graphene is gradual and requires a higher cost than using other materials, which is one of its major downsides. As a result, expectations surrounding graphene aren't being fully satisfied. For this reason, a number of experts are actively developing borophene as a different option. The most effective borophene was one made of a single layer of boron atoms. Since its initial synthesis in 2015, researchers have shown that it is more flexible and stronger than graphene. Borophene can lead to the development of novel materials with unique qualities appropriate for atomic-scale engineering. The discovery of borophene goes back to the 1990s, when a team of researchers made a prediction about it based on computer simulations that revealed the prospect that boron atoms could be able to organize themselves into a monolayer. The term borophene is defined scientifically as a proposed crystalline allotrope for boron, or crystalline atomic monolayer of boron. Though in this scenario it really is boron atoms with an additional boron atom situated in the middle of each hexagon. The hexagonal configuration of the atoms is quite identical to that of the carbon atoms in graphene. The following are a few of the most remarkable traits of borophene. According to graphene, it is more flexible and stronger. A good heat and electricity conductor can catalyze the breakdown of oxygen and hydrogen, has the capacity to function as a reactant, and is lightweight. It can hold more hydrogen than 15% of its weight. Given that graphene is more durable than diamond and is made of pure carbon, the fact that borophene is stronger and more flexible than graphene is quite significant. It is one of the hardest elements that exists on the planet. Borophene is also an electrical superconductor. This property is provided by the unusual crystalline structure of the material, which is composed of boron atoms. The superconductivity of boron is made possible by the voids that remain between the atoms. Since it is more flexible than graphene, it can also be used in flexible electronics. A study on the use of the material published on the digital academic platform RxIV in March 2019 catalogued its potential applications including hydrogen storage and higher-performance lithium-ion battery applications that could be crucial in an electric vehicle-dominated future. In light of the material's reactivity, which renders it susceptible to oxidation, there remains a long path to go before finding a technique to create borophene in large amounts. Similar to graphene, which is also difficult to work with and expensive to produce, borophene suffers from these two drawbacks. But this does not necessarily imply that it will be capable of competing with graphene in the not-so-distant future. The material is actually made when elemental boron is deposited on the surface of silver or being subjected to a very high vacuum by the molecular beam epitoxial growth process. The first 2D sheets reportedly developed are metallic, have a poor attachment to a silver substrate, and have a distinctive surface bent or crinkled. Since then, boron atoms over silver substrates have been used to construct three distinct kinds of 2D boron films successfully. This is even a nanosheet, as anticipated by theory, despite the fact that the principal atom, boron, is unquestionably a non-metallic semiconductor. Graphene specialists say borophene will transform the computer processor and chip industries because of its even better electrical conductivity. Additionally, the defense sector and ballistic applications use borophene, 
plane. It can probably be used to avoid being detected by radar or to counter radar. Although it is too soon to discuss the commercial synthesis of borophene, scientists made significant progress in the advancement of technology last year. For the first time, experts from Northwestern University in the United States were able to do what was previously believed impossible. They were able to create a two-layer borophene. Although each boron atom should theoretically form bonds with six more atoms, in practice, they typically only do so with four to five. It is the presence of voids in borophene crystals that distinguishes them. China and the United States have independently examined its mechanical properties. It has two distinctive qualities that might explain its novel characteristics. One of those is a boron atomic network, which consists of several changeable hollow hexagons that, by individually altering the HH content, produce a triangle reference lattice. With more HH added, the lattice grows stronger allowing this grating to be tailored to the appropriate mechanical qualities. The delocalized multi-center connection, which makes it very metallic, is another aspect. Borophene and graphene are not the only ultra-modern substances. That, in the future, is intended to take the place of common materials like copper, lithium, or tin. Consider the electrical conductivity of stannin or the potential importance of blue phosphorus in the development of optoelectronics. 